since we are laying everything out on the table and pretty much so this decision um if you are giving me even more thought about this after this happened i want to be completely honest and clear with you okay i don't want to be a part of cerberus i wanted to be i want to literally do whatever you need me to do to help you but i don't think that this so when my records got taken, I wasn't talked to about anyone from Cerberus for three days. I was going crazy. I was not in the know of anything. Mm -hmm. I was. I said hi to Eve, to Fiona, to other people, and they just ignored me. Maybe they didn't hear me, but I felt completely like a black sheep in the company for the longest time. I'm gonna. I. I. I'm still pro Cerberus. It's not, I have nothing against the company itself because the company itself does a lot of good for the, for the community, for everybody that I know, for the businesses, people, police, everyone. I absolutely respect and love Cerberus and what it's meant to be because it is, especially with you leading it. I feel like the change has been tremendous and amazing. Um, but I don't know if I can honestly be like grilled like that if it was like like i feel like i'm not trusted and i don't want to be a part of a company that doesn't trust me because then i'm gonna get paranoid and that's just my honest truth i no, won't I get feel that. comfortable um oh shit um fuck i mean shit that's uh listen i don't i don't ever hold anybody back from doing what they want to do um i understand that's how you may feel especially you know obviously fifi being hr and coming at you with some hard questions being a bit aggressive about it especially the last couple of days i know there's been some investigations going on i mean if that's how you feel me that's how you feel i'm not gonna hold you back you know what i mean yeah, it's not uh, i'll be i'll be honest with you uh fifi. when it comes to autos autos I, I would love to still find some sort of resolution where you end up being an equal partner and still running the place but I got to filter out a lot of bullshit now that's been caused, you know, unfortunately, by your friends who are around you. Yep. I have a lot of friends. You control them all. And unfortunately, yeah, I don't yeah, blame I, you. I don't blame you for completely it. for what they've done unless you were aware of what they did, which I will never, you know, I'll never truthfully know. Even if you tell me now you, you didn't, it's I, I can never know 100 percent of what actually went down. All I'm looking at is uh, the fact that you do run that business probably better than most people ever could. Although everyone is replaceable, doesn't mean they need to be replaced. Yeah. That's why I think we just take the weekend, we chill. Uh, I figure some shit out with Cerberus, uh, see wherever, whatever the fuck else pops up, and then maybe we talk again on Monday and see how we can resolve this. Yeah. I Also, that's not about Fiona. Fiona does her job well. It's more so like the other girls that I thought that I've been opening up to, that I have been close to, I feel like I just, because of something that James did, I feel like I fell under that category of people that fucked over people and I'm, I'm not like that. Literally, I was here all the time waiting for questions because I could literally explain to you every single line of every single transaction at Autos in my own bank record. I am the most paranoid person when it comes to the IRA and DIC and all of those companies. Yep. Like I am, I've never stolen a dime or a penny and I will never will. Um, business is, some, this is a business that I care about the most in my life. And even though I am replaceable, autos isn't replaceable for me. No, and I get that. And uh, like I said, I get how you feel. Um, a lot of people, uh, you know, I think it's important to understand too, Mila, there's just so much going on all the time, especially for people like Eve and Nancy. They're, they're dealing with a million different things that, you know, everyone's human, right? Everyone makes mistakes. And a lot of people are, you know, aren't good at uh, um, very easy to get lost in it all, not pay attention to everything that's going on around them. You know, if they made you feel a certain way, it probably wasn't intentional. It's probably because they're just overwhelmed with so much shit they're dealing with. I understand that and it's not like i made a lot of effort to actually go and call them every day it's just when i did um i was told um no you're not needed for this meeting no you're not needing for this meeting so it's just it's it's not just like this situation i think everything's just coming up because it feels like 
this is the right time to air everything out because why mess with things when things are you know calm i get i get that as well you know it gets to a boiling point you just want to you know unleash everything and how you've been feeling i get that um but like i said these are things that we could still discuss you could still bring up and we could resolve right but now you know like i said you have all these fucking people around you who did all this crazy shit you know maul got fucking shot there's so much we got to handle now yeah once guy jones told me that i texted marlo right away i was absolutely just horrified that that happened just uh, give me until Monday. Uh, we'll speak on Monday. I'm a little sick, so I'm not going to be around much longer today. Um, and then Monday, hopefully I'm better. and We can be around and maybe we can uh, resolve this. I personally, I don't want to completely get rid of you uh, from autos. I think you should still run the place. I do want to give you equal shares, but I will be honest. I don't know where that stands as of yet. And hopefully by Monday, we'll have a clear picture of hopefully resolving this in a way where everyone's happy. But I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. Um... You're amazing, you know that, Mr. Lang. You are mm. so patient, <laughs> and I appreciate that. I did not, I did not expect you to actually still think about it because, you know. Yeah, well, a lot of people have the wrong impression of me, especially a lot of your fucking friends, because they're a bunch of fucking morons. But I always see the bigger picture and everything. I don't think my friends have any ill will or any bad thought about you. I mean, I did kill Bass. You know what I mean? So. Oh well, trust me. James is the happiest person about that. So yeah. I don't, <laughs> James actually likes you a lot <laughs> and respects you a lot and wanted to actually get into Cerberus to, to be closer and to, to show like what he could to help, you know? So it's not anything to do with you or Cerberus for any of the shit that happened. It is literally just a Marlo and him thing. And then other people getting fucking involved for no reason. And it's just Guy Jones. No other person. We have kept it very, you know, within our people that are just helping James get out of debt. That's it. No other business. 